you actually have things around you that will bless you greatly. If you make use of this, just get sand around you and you see things happening in your life. So I'm going to show you how to make use of sand. Get sand from anywhere. Speak into that sand and you see great things happening in your life. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing fine. So in case you are new here, my name is Pamela. In this channel, I share spiritual tips, I share messages. Messages that will draw you closer to God, teaching you how to pray seriously for fast answer. In case you have been praying and your prayers are not answered, things are very slow for you. This channel will teach you the right prayer to pray, the right thing to say, so that God will answer your prayers faster. Spiritual work that will make things to turn around for you. Applying faith, believing that God is going to pass through those items I use to change your life drastically. You see it happening just like a magic. But with your faith, you can change all things. So if you love spiritual things, go on and subscribe. Turn on the bell so that whenever I upload videos, you get notified and come and watch. So you have to be careful of scammers. Always know that I don't give WhatsApp number. I don't give any contact at all concerning spiritual work. If anybody telling you that, pretending to be me, telling you that you should come for spiritual work or pay money for spiritual work, I'm not the one. Please, they are scammers. Beware of scammers, okay? So, I'm going to show you how to make use of sand. Just get sand around you. So, this is majorly for, you know, breaking away curses. If somebody place a curse upon you or, or you place a curse upon yourself, not knowing, you can actually make use of sand. You know, sand can break curses if you know how to use it rightly. You can use sand to attract curse. You can use sand to attract blessings, depending on how you want to use it for. That sand that you step on is very, very powerful spiritually. Remember that we all came from sand, from the dust, and everybody goes back into the sand as well. So you have to know that there's power in it, spiritual powers. It's packed with spiritual powers. You may be looking at it as a physical thing. Yes, look at it. You may be looking at it as just a spiritual thing, but you don't know what this contains. This is highly powerful spiritually. So this is majorly for those people that things are not moving well for, and you feel that you are under a curse. If you feel that you are under a curse, this can help you. If you feel that somebody placed a curse upon you, this can help you. I mentioned earlier, in case you place a curse upon yourself and you are not aware of, yes, it can happen. You may do something that we, we attract costs upon you. you. You may not be aware of it. Things like committing murder or maybe, or maybe giving somebody money to commit abortion. Family causes is also the major one. Like this particular one eh, is a foundational cause that you need to solve that problem before anything. So in case you have been doing spiritual work, doing spiritual work and you don't really know the root of your problem. Maybe you just have the sign that money is not coming your way and you start doing spiritual work. You have to know the source of that thing. Why money is not coming your way. Except it's, it's not a spiritual problem. But if you discover that it's a spiritual problem, please go deeper. Go deeper and find out what that issue is. Try to find out if it's a foundational problem like a family causes, family problem. If that problem is happening to almost everybody in the family, just know that it's a family issue. It's a family stronghold. Okay? So you have to break yourself free from any family causes holding you, keeping you away from progressing, making you not to go forward. Even as you are struggling, things are not moving well for you. So get any sand from anywhere. I always say anywhere because sand is sand. God created the whole world. Anywhere you live, anywhere, just take that sand. Speak into it. If, if it's a family problem, I will tell you how to pray so that you can break yourself free from that family causes. Family causes can move from generation to generation. Even your great grandchildren will benefit from it. And it will not be funny. So you have to solve that problem now. You have to break it free from your own time before it gets too late. The benefits of breaking away from family causes is you start seeing progress, you start seeing light, you start seeing that when problem is happening to the rest of the family, your own case will be different. I've made a video like this in the past where I said, break yourself free from family because it's holding you, stopping you from progressing. And someone asked a question that, if the rest of the family can do it. So you have to know that everything works with faith. 
every member of that family need to do it with faith. You, you are doing it with faith. What about another person? Are they ready to break themselves free from that family causes? Are they ready to set themselves free? If you notice that majorly, the things I share on this channel requires you to do it yourself. Like, mainly spiritual baths or the one that requires you to apply something. You will not apply it for the other person. You will not have your bath for the other person. The person needs to make up his or her mind, believe that God is there. God is going to pass through that thing and break them away from that causes. So, you can introduce it to that person, but is the person going to do it? Is the person willing to do it? Is the person's mind towards it? That is what you have to ask yourself. So, just get some from anywhere, okay? I've discussed this before. So, this is the one I got from just outside. This is also going to help you greatly, okay? So that anywhere you step on, anywhere you find yourself in life, you make it. This is not only to break yourself free from any family causes or break every cause is following you. This, this is also going to make you progress in anywhere you step on, any land you find yourself. Just take that stand. I also got one question that someone asks that the person is living in the States, that everywhere is tied. I know everywhere is tied, but you not tell me that there is no a particular place that you not get a sand. Okay? So try to get sand in anywhere. Sand is sand. Get sand, and this is how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you two ways. In case it's a course, and in case you want to possess that land. You want that land to favor you. You want to possess your possession. As you are walking there, in fact, if you try this, anywhere you find yourself, you prosper. There are lots of people that they move from one place to the other. Things are not moving well. They suffer and suffer. They move from one place to the other. They will stay here like for some time. They will say, oh, this land is not favoring me. They will move to another land. Some people, they will be like, they will travel from their country to another place far away. They will spend huge money. If they go there, they will notice that things, are, st things still remain the same. They are not progressing. Okay, just know that that one is family cause. There is something following you from family, from, from your foundation. So you have to tackle it you know, in that way. You have to know that this is a foundational problem. If you solve it, you can prosper in any way, even if that place is a village. It's if you solve this issue, if you go abroad, you prosper more because so many things are there. But if you don't solve this problem, even if you go to that place that you know everything is there, facilities, everything, civilization, everything is there, you will not even make it. You cannot make it because you have not solved that issue, except it's not a spiritual problem. If it's not a spiritual problem, then know that hard work is required. Please work hard and pray. So I'm also going to tell you the other one of, in case you have done all this and what is remaining is you want that land to favor you. Please look no further. You can actually do it yourself. Get sand, get soil from anywhere, like I said. I'm going to start with family uh, courses, you know, foundational uh, side. If you are fortunate to get some from your hometown, better. But in case you cannot, you are not close to the your hometown, your village, no problem. Get some from anywhere. So just take some like this. Just face up into the sky. Invite the presence of God. Tell God to pass through it. Commit God in anything you do and you see it working powerfully. Tell God that this is not ordinary sun. That you want the power of God to flow in. To, to break every causes following you from your generation to generation. Any foundational causes, any problems holding you down, any family problem that other people are passing through, they want to break yourself free from this problem. They you break yourself free, you break your children free, you break your wife free, you break your, yourself free, you break your husband free from every causes following you in that family, from that family. Break yourself free and you see great things happening. Invite the presence of God. So when you are done, speak into that sand. Say that I refuse to be part of you spiritually. I refuse to be part of that problem that has placed a cause in that family. I'm not aware of these causes. I'm not aware of that problem that led to that causes. That any causes following me 
which I'm not aware of. Maybe the ones that my forefathers did, my, my great great grandmothers, my mothers, my fathers, my great grandfathers committed. And now it's on me. I break myself free from every causes following me and want to go to my children. From today, let me prosper. I will start prospering from today. After speaking into it, then hold your hand like this. Move it around your head seven times. Okay? Just move it one, two, just like this, three, seven times. When you are done, please go outside. Okay? Try to go outside. Keep it back into that plastic wrap or into a bag. Then anytime you go where there is sand outside, throw it back into the sand. You brought it from the sand and you return it back to the sand. From that day, you notice changes. But you don't have to stop there. Try to do midnight prayers. Try to know that there is power in prayers. This is a spiritual work. You have done it spiritually. Then leaving the rest to God to do. But never stop. Do not stop there. Always remind God that you have done it. That I want Him to finish the rest. That I want God to break you free from every causes. That I want to start progressing from today. Believe it deep in your heart that God is going to do it for you and see it sold. Second one is, in case you want to prosper in any land you find yourself, maybe I've done this particular one and you move to another place. So this particular one is you doing it to bless the work of your hands in anywhere you find yourself, in any time. Even if you are not part of that land, you can command that land to bless you and to start blessing you. So take the sand. Not that particular sand that you used before, please. Take another sand in any land. If you are in your village, take the uh, sand from that place. If you are in any part of the world, take the soil from that place. Don't take the soil from, for example, London and start going to Nigeria to go and bless yourself. Please pray. Pray on that, on that sand in that land. So take the sand like this. Okay, take the sand like this. Then speak good things into your into that sand. Invite the presence of God. Just the same way I said. But this one is a different pattern. Please. Pray. Tell God I want God to bless you in this land. Let this land bless me. Let this land bless my children. Let this land bless my wife. Let this land bless my husband. Let this land bless my sister. Bless my, you know, anybody very close to you. After praying, then you have to put it into the water. This is a bath. You have to have your bath with this. I know some people will say, can I have my bath with this sand? This is a spiritual work. I don't know. Please try to do it. This is not the one of the first one. Please. The first one, you have to move it around seven times. Throw it away. This particular one is a bath. After praying, commit, you know, blessing yourself that this land should bless me, favor me, bless the work of my hand. Transfer it into water. Then you move it around. Blessing it as you do. Then you have to have your bath. Please, the sand should remain into that water. Have your bath with this water and bless yourself. Do not throw away that sand until you finish having your bath. I'm not saying you should be packing the sand and be pouring on your body. The, you know the sand will be under under the water. Let it be like that, but make sure you miss it. Okay? Even if the water changes color, no problem. Use that water to have your bath and welcome blessings into your life. And nobody anywhere will stop your blessings. God will bless the work of your hands. Even if it's not blessing other people that you came with in that land, your own case is different. May God bless you as you do it. So break yourself free from every cause is holding you down, making you not to go forward. The causes can be death, premature death. You see that some families, they are experiencing premature death. You see that some families, no matter how they try, riches is far, far away from them. You can actually bless any land you find yourself. And that land will start favoring you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Share this video to everyone. I'll see you in my next video.